what's going on guys welcome back to another video on my cr250 build in the last video i said today was going to be the reveal of the bike but i'm actually going to make a little video on the exhaust for the bike um so if those of you that have been watching the build all the way through will know what's happening with that but um, yeah, i'm still going to be pretty much finishing the bike up today but it will be the next video for you guys so when i bought their bike originally it had an fmf fatty pipe on it the nickel plated one just around the front bend it was all rusty so yeah i'll show you guys how the pipe looks now as you can see like, there's quite a bit of rust around this front bend and then yeah it had one of those armadillo guard things on it that wrap around and there's just a bit of rust up there So yeah, as you can see, there's quite a bit of rust around that front bend and stuff. So is what I'm going to do with it is actually have it sent out to an electroplater and get them to acid dip it pretty much. And I'm just going to strip all the nickel plating and rust off it. And then I'm just going to leave it a raw finish, heat treat the welds and um, yeah, sort of give it a, sort of make a factory fatty. I know the FMF factory fatties are quite, getting quite hard to find for these older two strokes so I thought it would um, be a pretty cool process to make one and stuff. So I received the pipe back from electroplating and um, I'll put a photo in now of what it looked like. It was real like sort of went cloudy, it was quite looked quite dusty sort of. So um, yeah, I really wanted to just give it a good finish and I didn't really want to be scotch brining it for ages and stuff. So I actually dropped it off to my local Vapor Blaster and he has Vapor Blasted it for me. And it's actually come up really sweet. So um, yeah, pretty much from here now the pipe's Vapor Blasted. We're going to start making this thing look cool and then we can get it mounted on the bike with my FMF shorty that I got for it too. So here is the pipe after stripping and vapor blasting. So yeah, now it's left it with a really nice finish. So you can see, like where all that rust was, there's very minimal pitting on it, as you can see. But yeah, I'm super happy with the way it's turned out from what it was. So yeah, it's been vapor blasted for about a week now and we haven't sprayed any lubricant on it to stop it from rusting and it's only just starting to sort of bit of surface rust now as you can see there and a little bit there. So yeah, from what the pipe was originally being all rusty and stuff, just from having it dipped and then vapor blasted, it's come up real mint. So now I'm just going to get a scotch bright pad, just a dry one and just give it a quick wipe over with it. So we clean up any rust on it and then we'll break out the blowtorch and um, yeah, heat treat these welds. This is where it's going to start looking real sick. Alright, so yeah, just with the dry scotch bright, I'm just going to go over the pipe. Just give it a quick rub down. And I'm just going to go one way because obviously with the scotch bright it leaves very fine scratches. So if you just go one way, then it actually gives it a sort of brush finish and doesn't scratch and all cross hatch and all that. Right, so I've just given it a once over with the scotch bright. Yes, as you can see it leaves very fine scratches. I'm actually a, a quite a big fan of the brush lock. So yeah, I've just gone one way the whole way around the pipe um, and then that'll just give it a nice even finish. So I've cleaned up all the rust on it now. So now I've got a propane um, torch. So we'll light this thing up. And then I'm pretty much just going to run around all the welds. And it'll start blowing up and then just yeah, run around all the welds. Down around the seams and all that. And then it'll give it the raw with the heat treated weld um, look. Alright, so the thing about doing these pipes and heat treating them. Is you have to be very sort of steady and depending on where you put the torch and how hot the flame is will depend on the thickness and colour and all that. So yeah, it just takes a bit of um, getting used to I suppose. I've done a few pipes now, so um, I'll show you how it works.
Right, so there is the very first weld done. Ideally, if I was using something a bit hotter and with a pointer, pointier flame, I could actually get it to blow up on the weld. But with that um, torch, it's really hard to get it to actually blow and purple up on the actual weld. But it's still going to look pretty sweet once it's all done. So yeah, we'll carry on. Run it down here now. And then yeah, move around all these welds. Right, so I've just got done fully heat treating the welds on the expansion chamber. So yeah, here it is. It's come up really sweet. So yeah, I've done every weld all over the pipe, all the seams and stuff. Yeah, I got them pretty thin really for, for the torch I was using. Um, the very so that was the very first one I did on the pipe and then I just ran it down here and yeah you know, obviously hadn't done it in a while so it got really like patchy and inconsistent so the good thing about this finish is I just you know you can just scotch bright it off and then just redo it so yeah, that's what I did on this one here and it come up a lot better managed to get it quite a bit thinner so yeah I'm really happy with that so yeah, it's also good for those of you that haven't done it before. You can experiment and then just yeah, scotch bright it off until you get it perfect. But yeah, I just love the finish of the raw steel and then the purple, blue and brown sort of contrast all over it. And when also you lubricate it, they um, really shine. I'll take it outside so it's a bit easier to see. So yeah, I'm not too sure if this is going to be much better, but you can really see the colouring and stuff in it now. So it came up really good. So now we have the FMF fatty all tidied up, looking really nice. Um, I've also I've just given it a washout with water because if there was any grit or anything in there from vapor blasting um, on first startup, it'll suck um, it all back into the motor. So just giving it a nice washout um, and then a dry off so it doesn't rust, and then we'll lubricate it once it's um, mounted up on the CR. But yeah, so I've just washed it out, and yeah, now that's ready to be bolted up. And then those of you that don't know, I also picked up a brand new FMF shorty. And um, yes, yeah, so that's going to be a really good combo for these two. So I've just swapped the grommets and washers over from the factory silencer. So yeah, now we'll get these two bolted up onto the CR. So just got the FMF pipes installed, looking really good now. I've just got two rags, two clean rags. One, I'm going to put some methylated spirits on, and I'm just going to give the pipe a wipe down, get all the fingerprints and stuff off it. 
and then the other one I'm going to use the CRC so it's just like WD-40 pretty much it's a different brand and just here yeah, lubricate spray the whole pipe lubricate it all up and then um, yeah just to stop it from rusting and then yeah that'll be the whole pipe exhaust system um, done So there you have it, pipes completely done, now mounted up on the bike, cleaned and now lubricated. So yeah, pretty much now every time I go for a ride, it'll burn the lubricant off. So then after I wash it, wipe the pipe down and then give it another spray with CRC. And it'll just keep this finish. And then after, if it gets real hot, it'll start actually self-blowing and stuff. So um, yeah, works pipes look cool, require a little bit more maintenance than the nickel ones. But definitely worth it, I think. Yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you think of the pipe. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked with the process and stuff that I chose to do on it. I think it looks great. And um, yeah, I'm happy that I got the shorty as well for it. It's going to be sounding really good. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this short little video on restoration of the pipe and stuff. Um, yeah, next video we'll be finishing the bike up and actually revealing it. So definitely stay on the lookout for that. Follow me on Instagram. For all the behind the scenes and stuff of the bikes and builds and all that and um yeah i will catch you guys in the next one